Hello and welcome. There is something strange and that is very rare happening right now in Africa that is raising concerns and keeping scientists astonished. According to scientists, Africa is currently splitting physically into two sections which will eventually result in the birth of a new ocean and a new continent. How exactly is the continent of Africa splitting apart? Where will this new ocean come from? And which countries will be part of this new continent? And what will be the economic impact and the dangers this could pose to Africa? This is exactly what today's video is all about. Can you not forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. As at now, this splitting is currently happening deep within the earth crust and it will divide the modern day Somalia, portion of Kenya, Ethiopia and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. First of all, we need to understand the question of how this is going to happen. This splitting is due to a process known as rifting, which occurs when one tectonic plate splits into two or more plates that are separated by divergent plate bodies. Now, if you examine the west coast of Africa and the west coast of South America, you will notice that they fit perfectly together, indicating that these two continents were once joined together as one. Geological records are just another indicator that the world's continents were once united. Now, the makeup of Pennsylvania's coal deposit is comparable to the coal deposit found in countries such as Poland, United Kingdom and Germany which suggests that North America and Europe were also once joined together as one landmass. So, the splitting of land masses is no strange thing to humanity. The actual cause of this coming splitting of the continent of Africa is believed to be associated with the East African Rift System, which is the world's largest rift system, which first appeared in Ethiopian desert in 2005. It is thousands of kilometers deep and runs through several African countries including Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, Ethiopia, just to name a few of the countries. Now, the rift which spans more than 3,000 kilometers were caused by tectonic processes occurring at the bottom of the seas. It is predicted that it will take millions of years for the splitting of the African continent to be fully completed. But in recent times, parts of highways in Nairobi collapsed as a result of the gradual splitting of the African continent, giving a physical evidence that this tectonic shifting is actually taking place in real time. Now, what could be the impact of the splitting of Africa into two sections? Now, with the splitting of Africa some days to come, countries that are considered landlocked countries are going to be having access to their own seashores. Six countries including Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, Malawi, Zambia, and Congo, which are currently landlocked nations, will eventually find themselves with a coastline. Countries such as Somalia, Tanzania, Mozambique, and portion of Kenya as well as Djibouti and Ethiopia are among the countries that are anticipated to be part of the new continent which will be separated from the current African continent. This could provide significant benefit to the former landlocked nations which now have access to the sea, helping them to decrease costs associated with import and export, usually conducted by sea and also the emergence of shipping and fishing industries in these countries. Now, with access to the sea, countries such as Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, which for the past decades have heavily relied on ports in Kenya and Tanzania for their maritime freight and transit, may now finally stop depending on ports in these countries. There will also likely be an increase in maritime activities and a shorter route to other parts of the world. But major concern has to do with the displacement of communities and settlements. Some plants and animal species will come to extinct. Another major concern has to do with security in these areas, as these countries will have to redraw their coastlines and agree on their coast boundaries, which could potentially cause conflict and disagreement among these nations in the coming future. But as history has already shown, nations in Africa always find means to resolve their differences. But there is one thing we can all be sure of is the fact that the splitting of Africa is actually taking place in real time. There you have it. It is only time will tell when the splitting of Africa into two sections will fully take effect. But there is no doubt that this is currently taking place inch by inch as the years goes ahead. 
By the way, if you find this content informative, then don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. Thank you and have a good day.